Hello Capricorn, welcome to your weekly love reading. Thank you very much for being here. We're going to be starting with the angel answer cards. This card will answer whatever question you have at the end of the reading. And we'll be finishing the reading with the Keeper of the Light Oracle card. So, Capricorn, angel answer card. There we go. Romance angels. What is, ooh, what does Capricorn need to know? The other cards that hit the floor, they're all face down. This one is the one that came out face up. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Hmm. So we're going to get more on this because this deception, and it says a self mask. I, I always pay, want people to pay attention. This is a false self mask. So someone is putting themselves out there as something they're not, but I'm not so sure. <laughs> It really sounds strange, but whoa, a new start. The cups, a new start. Well, the, the four of cups, the cups, hello. The four of cups could be being bored. It could be like, eh, like I don't really care. Um, so, so a new start, possibly a relationship, something maybe you just feel like you don't really seem to care. It's calling for strength. The Ten of Swords. We're going to clarify the heck out of this because we have false self mask. And so, <laughs> what I'm kind of wondering is in this, does this have to do with someone who has a new start, but they really don't care to have a new start? Like they're 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 saying they want it, but they don't really want it. And then the strength is to the strength to end it. You know, the strength to just you know it ain't working for me. Let's take it. See you later. So, just so, so let's clarify the fool with the four of cups. Four Capricorn. Clarify the fool with the four of cups. Now, fools technically usually. Oh, that was weird. Did the card anything flip? It flipped and went back. Yeah. Okay then. Wasn't meant to come out. So the fool is usually a new start. I always notice in this fool that there's one person at the tree, but there's two tracks. So the implication is that someone went before or someone left. But, you know, is it two people that want to do this or just one? Okay, we got the high priest with the queen of wands. The high priest is traditionally a marriage card for me because... Um, well, he's the Hierophant here. And if you look, he's got the book, he's open. So learning. And we have the Queen of Wands. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But she knows what she wants. She's not afraid to go after it. So talking about the new start, that you possibly, her back is turned to that new start. So it's kind of like being apathetic about it. So, <laughs> it's it, it, to me. I want to say it's almost like you're learning that you're that you are you learning that you want this. Like it's a new start that you weren't so sure of, but now as time goes by, you're realizing that it might actually be something you're interested in, Capricorn. Let's keep going. Let's go a little further with this. We, we're we're at the edge of that rabbit hole. Might as well keep. Oh, the Queen of Cups and the Two of Wands. Water sign. Queen of Cups, Aries. Aries. <laughs> I'm sorry. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And the Two of Wands. So looking to the future, possibly with someone with a water sign. So yeah, so to me it looks like you're having a new start with someone that at one point you were kind of like, eh. And then... You realize that, you know, as you get to know them, you like them and you actually did want them. And now you are looking towards the future with this person. Um, and now the strength with the Ten of Wands. Now, this strength card could be a Leo, could have Leo in your chart or theirs. But we're going to clarify the strength with the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is 
the end of mental anguish, the end of worrying and anxiety and that kind of stuff. So let's clarify those cards for Capricorn. We got the Three of Pentacles. <laughs> so see the strength card? Mask over her face or yeah, her face I believe it is. You take that mask away and that to me is true strength. <laughs> That's how I feel like saying. The Three of Pentacles is about working as a team. See, I feel like, remember we talked about the deception? The deception to me is almost like saying, the deception has been like the self mess was that you didn't want this, but you do want it. And when you acknowledge this and you have the strength, that's when that, that concern goes away and you can, it, it's working as a team. You want to work as a team and you weren't working as a team. Look at this. The Three of Pentacles, usually it's people working together. This person is creating, I always think of this as the relationship. This person has their back to it. And I feel like it's like you're being late to the party. So, but you're getting up the strength. You are the one who's wearing the self mask, uh, Capricorn. It's like you didn't think that you wanted this person, that you wanted this relationship, but you do. And now, now, whenever you're coming to this, you're interested and you want it to work. There you go sending messages. Eight of Wands is things happening quick. You have suddenly decided this is the person you want, this is the relationship you want. Maybe you're sending text messages, maybe you're sending passionate text messages, emails, but this is fast communication. So things are gonna happen once you make that decision, acknowledge what you really want and that this person is more than you thought, that's when things move along quite fast. The star. It's like a healing. Look at that. It's that joining of energies in my head. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. So, and the best possible outcome in this relationship, best possible outcome for Capricorn with this person. What's the best possible outcome? You, you, you become you, the devil card. That's awesome. So the best possible outcome, Capricorn, is you acknowledge yourself, your true self. That's perfect because the self mess, like I said, sometimes we deceive ourselves. You think that you don't want something and then you wait, wait, this is who they really are. Wait, maybe I should. Oh, I do. And so you find you. Yay. More power to you. So Capricorn, angel answer card. What's your question? Here comes your answer. You are ready. There you go. It's like a relationship when you walk through a relationship, but you don't actually feel it. You're not really there. And now it's like you're owning it. So here we go. Keeper of the Light Oracle card for Capricorn. Ooh. Mahavatar Babaji, Soul Expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connections between all things. See, I was saying you weren't connected. You're, you were masked. You weren't there. You weren't present really in the relationship. You didn't think you even wanted this. And then it was like, I, I, I don't actually know what happens, but suddenly you, you see something in this person that makes you say, wait a minute, I do want them. And there we go. So Capricorn, I've been ending my, my uh, videos telling about my red shirt. Red stands for Remember Everyone Deployed. It is uh, in support of those who are deployed, their friends, their family, in letting them know that we are with them, even if it's only in spirit, but we are hoping for a quick resolution and for everyone to come home safe. Good luck, take care, thank you.